right, let's talk about military jargon jargon on a resume. You hear this a lot to try to civilianize your resume. What are, you, what are your opinions <laughs> on, the, on this? Uh, you, you heard my, my thought on this. We can keep it simple. Uh, listen, I might understand what you're talking about when we uh, use an acronym for the military, um, but most civilian employers don't. Um, it's so easy for us to just get right back to that mindset and just start talking about things in acronyms. We've been doing it for how many years in the Army, in the Navy, in the Marine Corps, Air Force. We all have our own little, little batch of acronyms. Well, you know, that HR manager or that hiring manager might not have ever served or known anyone that served, but they want to hire a veteran. They can't hire a veteran if they don't understand what we're speaking about. And if it's on our resume, again, we're not getting much further than that because they have no idea what you're talking about. So spend the time, break it out. Sometimes they don't make sense when we take an actor and try to make it civilian. It doesn't make a lot of sense. But Google is actually getting really good at that now with helping us explain our background. Utilize the tools. The tools are out there. Or speak to one of your peers. Okay, Say, how would you phrase this so someone could understand it? Ask your husband. Ask your wife. Whichever it is, whoever you trust, ask them how to help you explain better. Those five minutes will make a huge difference and might actually get you that job. Right. And not just the acronym, but the wording that is being used as well, right? How you're describing what you did, try to try to relate that to what it would be in a civilian setting. In a and sometimes they're not, listen, right. some jobs are not directly translatable. And, that, and that's okay. There's other skills that we have in the military that are directly our, translatable. Our work ethic, you know, our dedication. Concentrate on those if there's not a, a synergy between what the positions are and what your position in the military was. Right. It's so, you did so much more in the military than what was just written on that MLS. So yeah, you're not defined it. by your job. Right. So don't forget all those soft skills. Yeah. That's what employers want to read about.